Close your eyes and imagine walking along a Martian beach, the waves lapping at your feet. Sounds like a fantasy, but what if we told you that a billion years ago, Mars was once a paradise with flowing water and the potential for life? Let's take off to Mars and learn all the hidden secrets of the Red Planet's ancient ocean. Did you know that Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and its name is derived from a Greek god of war, Ares? Mars was his Roman counterpart. The Egyptians named it Herdesher, meaning the Red One, while the ancient Chinese astronomers dubbed it the Fire Star due to its rusty red tone. Why Mars is so strikingly red? It's due to the planet's soil, also commonly known as regolith, that is rich in iron and other minerals. NASA believes that upon oxidizing, the surface turns reddish. Dust storms and thin atmosphere scatter sunlight, increasing the red appearance. Let's not forget the planet's geological history, marked by volcanic activity and erosion, contributes to the presence of iron oxides, lending Mars its characteristic reddish hue. Beyond its name and distinctive color, Mars has long been shrouded in mysteries. One of the most tantalizing enigmas is, could life have ever flourished on this barren terrain? With the discovery of old riverbeds etched into its landscape and evidence of liquid water beneath the surface, it hints at the possibility that life existed on Mars, or perhaps still does. Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, and a gigantic canyon system named Vis Marineris, raising many questions about the planet's geological history. Olympus Mons is 370 miles in diameter, wide enough to cover the entire state of New Mexico. Similar to the volcanoes in Hawaii, Olympus Mons is a shield volcano with gradual slopes formed by the lava eruptions that cooled over time. Mars continues to be a beacon of exploration, offering mysterious clues about our solar system's history and perhaps a future destination for human life. According to scientists today, Mars had enough water to cover up to 20% of the planet about 4.5 billion years ago. They suggest that the red planet could still possess liquid water underground, but it's hard to confirm these speculations. So, what is the scientific proof that the Martian seas ever existed? Mars features ancient shorelines and sedimentary rock formations that resemble those found on Earth, indicating the presence of water. Even the Mars surface shows signs of erosion by water, suggesting the action of waves and tides in the distant past. Mars is much colder than Earth, with the average temperatures of about minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit, and the carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere of Mars is also about 100 times less dense than Earth's. The Martian air changes as the seasons fluctuate. In wintertime, the air turns into frozen carbon dioxide, making up to 95% of dry ice that looks just like fluffy snow. In the ancient past, Mars probably had a much thicker atmosphere, allowing liquid water to flow freely. But as time elapsed, the light air escaped under pressure from the solar wind due to the lack of a magnetic field to keep them in place. This made Mars' atmosphere shift from a warm, watery past to a dry planet that we see today. But that's not all. With the thin atmosphere come the colossal dust storms covering the entire red planet for months, completely blotting out the sun and plunging it into pitch darkness. Dark and cold, that's the Mars we know today. These dust storms can pose serious risks to robots on the Martian surface, as NASA's Opportunity Mars rover died after being engulfed in a giant 2018 storm terminating the mission. In 2011, NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission sent the Curiosity rover to investigate Mars history and to see if it ever hosted life. Not long after landing inside the Red Planet's Gale Crater in August 2012, it discovered signs of a long-lasting water lake 
and streams that could have supported life in the past. The findings of the Curiosity rover suggested sedimentary rock layers, riverbed gravels, and chemical compositions, consistent with a habitable environment favoring the possibility that Mars sustained water. Curiosity also found complex organic molecules and documented seasonal fluctuations in methane concentrations in the atmosphere. Recent findings from NASA's rovers, such as Curiosity and Perseverance, have revealed that Mars does indeed have water, primarily in the form of ice and briny water. In 2018, astronomers discovered three underground lakes of liquid water below Mars' surface by using a radar instrument on the European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft. However, this water is neither pure nor easily accessible, requiring future missions for extraction. Even if we could extract the water, it contains toxic salts, known as perchlorates, as detected in the Perseverance mission. These perchlorates render the soil unsuitable for growing crops or filtering water without proper treatment. Hey spacers, before you pack for Mars, please take a moment to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, on to the Red Planet. NASA's Perseverance rover, affectionately known as Percy, landed on Mars in February 2021, and it has since been diligently working to uncover the secrets of the Red Planet. In its quest for answers, Perseverance is exploring Jezero Crater, an ancient lake bed. The rover is collecting rock and sediment samples, preserving them for future missions. These samples are being stored for future missions, offering incredible insights for scientists. Perseverance goes beyond mere exploration. It's breaking new ground with cutting-edge technology. One such marvel is the MOXIE experiment, which is producing oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. This breakthrough is a crucial step toward developing the resources needed to support human missions to Mars. While past missions to Mars have been largely successful, it has never been an easy trek getting there. With the current rocket technology, it would take at least six months for people to travel to Mars. The astronauts will be exposed for long stretches to deep space radiation and to microgravity, which has devastating effects on the human body. To perform activities in the moderate gravity on Mars could prove extremely difficult after many months in microgravity. Elon Musk's ambitious goal of colonizing Mars by 2026 has been making waves in the space industry. SpaceX starships may keep blowing up, but that's not going to stop Musk. In fact, he has said that it is all part of the grand plan. Musk's recent statements have reflected his unwavering commitment to his Martian vision. He envisions a future where a self-sustaining colony of humans on Mars could serve as a crucial backup for humanity, protecting our species from potential extinction events on Earth. While SpaceX has made significant progress, including successful Starship prototype launches, but so many technological, logistical and safety challenges need to be addressed to ensure the colonization of Mars by 2026. The life support systems, radiation protection and Martian habitat construction are areas that demand rigorous attention. With no breathing air and the threat of dust storms and freezing cold, construction of a human habitat seems like an almost impossible task. We are excited about SpaceX progress, but making a colony on Mars by 2026 may seem like a tall order. Elon Musk and SpaceX are working really hard to make it happen, and they're getting us closer to the dream of humans living on Mars, even if the 2026 timeline remains an ambitious target. As we voyage back from Mars, we realize it's a world of infinite possibilities, from its ancient ocean to the mysterious potential for past or present life. But this is just the beginning. The charismatic pull of Mars, with its cloudy history, beckons us to keep exploring and to keep seeking answers to the unknown. 
So SpaceX, is Mars a go or a no? We are very excited about Elon Musk's plans for colonizing Mars. If you are excited too, subscribe and click the bell to stay on top of new and awesome space content. Don't forget to comment, like and share. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next Space Trek.